It's time to give the Slash a Doug score. Geronimo! Before we get into the Doug score, let me talk about the tracks of Slash in general. The Slash is a rear-wheel drive radio control trophy truck that started production in 2008. The truck is inspired by the real racing trucks used in the Torque Racing series. Since then, the tracks of Slash has been a favorite by the radio control community worldwide. Now it's time for the Doug score. Starting off with the Celestial chart, which measures styling and performance, the Slash looks cool and with the car's large fan base, it easily gives it a good 25 points. Top speed on the stock brush motor with the optional speed gearing ratio included in the box is amazing. The car can hit 30 miles an hour, which is decent, but not as fast as modern brushless systems go, so it earns a solid 8 points. Handling isn't very good, but it's not that terrible. The car is equipped with a chassis that has a sensor of gravity way too high. Traxxas does offer a low center of gravity chassis for around $30. However, tires also play a role on the Slash's bad handling, and a quick turn can lead to rollover since the car has the poor progressive rate springs, which leads to the car to suffer body roll in giving it a score of 10 points. Acceleration is very snappy, even for a car that's powered by a brush motor. Once you give it a command, it automatically goes. However, the hard rubber compound from the tires drops it down to 12 points. Add it up all together, and the total Celestial score is 55 out of 100, which is average since the high center of gravity chassis and the poor tire compound holds it back from a good score. Now it's time for the Lunar Chart. Now the Lunar Chart changes the story on the tracks of Slash. Durability is excellent. I thrashed it around a skate park near my house in Los Angeles, California, and despite a caster block breaking and shock caps popping from hard landings, it can take a good beating, giving it a score of 21 points. Now let's talk about quality. The Slash is equipped with strong plastic parts, but not to the point where it's really hard as a rock. This gives it a solid 15 points. Features and equipment is the strongest point of the Slash. For different prices, you get different features. Traxxas does offer a brushless version which is faster than the stock XL5 Slash. Furthermore, if you want to get a cheap version of the Traxxas Slash, you can get the 116 scale version. If you like Ford trucks, Traxxas does offer a Raptor Slash. If you want to go hardcore, you can get the all-wheel drive Slash. Continuing with the versatility, the Slash also shares parts with the Rustler, Bandit, and Stampede. With that all being said, the Slash remains on the top for features and equipment, giving it a score of 25 points. Now finally, value. This is a question that you need to ask yourself. Since the term versatility is heavily used for the Slash, you need to ask yourself which is good for the money. I personally think that the prices the Traxxas has offered is a reasonable share, therefore giving it an 18. You can argue all you want, but this is just my opinion. I have my opinions as well as you guys do. Add it all up and the total lunar score is 79 out of 100, close to an 80. Finally, the total Doug score for the Traxxas Slash is 134 out of 200, which is not the best, but certainly not the worst. I do think the Traxxas Slash deserves its best reputation.